We welcome you to the open bracket at the Palace at Auburn Hills, the Bradley Braves against the Kansas Jayhawks. This the final game of the night. The winner here will advance to meet Pittsburgh in the second round on Sunday afternoon. Starting lineups for the Bradley Braves, Pat Patrick O'Brien, Marcella Somerville, J.J. Twy, Tony Bennett, and Daniel Ruffin. And for the Kansas Jayhawks, Sasha Kahn, Julian Wright, Brandon Rush, Mario Chalmers, Russell Robinson. That's right, three freshmen, two sophomores for the Jayhawks. This game brought to you in HDTV by Harris Corporation, the world leader in broadcast systems for high-definition television and mobile media. The officiating crew for the final game tonight, Tony Green, Hal Lusk, Jeffrey Nichols, Vern Lundquist, Bill Raftery, and we are set to go. Kansas and Bradley meeting for only the second time ever. The first time was in 1950. O'Brien and Sasha Khan. Tip controlled by the Jayhawks. And Vern Lundquist, Bradley goes. Man to man. Bradley Braves out of the Missouri Valley Conference. Jayhawks from the Big 12, victors over Texas in the championship game last Sunday. They get the first basket, it's Julian Wright. Oh, and that was a little bit too easy for Jim Les. Little shuffle cut, who turns it around. Here's Daniel Ruffin, number 20, in the hands of J.J. Twy. Those of you expecting uh, other games, Penn and Texas, zip at 9.54, UAB in Kentucky. There's the entry pass underneath. Sasha Khan to the defense turnover. We will send you to the tips of those games. There's a loose ball picked up by O'Brien, quickly in the hands of Ruffin. Jumper for three. Yes. How about that? In the early, he's going to get in the lane as well. Terrific post passer. Kansas ball. Daniel Ruffin. There's Jim Les, the head coach, in his fourth year. At his alma mater, a great player, along with Hersey Hawkins, back in the mid-80s. One of the great shooters in college basketball, Jim Les. And not a bad pro shooter as well. Now you're right. <laughs> oh, great range. And Bradley with a one-point lead. Russell Robinson backs it out, finds Julian Wright. There's the dish underneath. Sasha Khan, foul. He'll go to the line. And what? An asset having a big guy who can make plays like Julian as Bill Self enjoyed that particular play. Self in his third season as the Kansas head coach has been uh, asked all week long about the first round loss to Bucknell last year. Well, he's got style and grace. Yes. He can handle any, but I was a, saw this team in Maui at the beginning of the season. Right. And he said then and continued to say, we're young, you got to be patient with this team. We're going to grow and develop. And watching the Texas final game, with the Big 12, they were extraordinary. I mean, they were at such a high level for such young kids. But at this point in the year, Vern, they're a year older, no question about it. Sophomores, freshmen are sophomores, sophomores, juniors. Uh, shortly after that uh, Hawaii venture, they were three and four to start the season, but they finished the season 15 and one. Did the Jayhawks? That one loss at Texas, a blowout, 80 to 55. But they have come back. Now they trail 5-4 as Bradley gets another one. Uh, Patrick O'Brien, what a big upside! Learning the game quickly. This hand down here, he can dominate defensively. Julian Wright, Russell Robinson. Ruffin picks him up. Robinson goes left. Kicks it back outside. There's the jumper. Brandon Rush, no. Rebound. Tony Bennett for Bradley. Bradley Braves. Ruffin off the mark. Into the hands of Rush. Here's Mario Chalmers, another freshman. Now the bigs for Kansas can run the floor. And that's very important with O'Brien. Keep him moving. Short. Julian Wright can't hold on. O'Brien at seven feet. Tries to do a little pirouette. He did a great job, though. Well, we mentioned the 3-4 start for the Jayhawks. But look how they have improved. A 22-3 finish in their last 25. Rebounding margin at 6. Three-point percentage just short of 40%. Yeah, just solid turnaround. But that's learning the system, learning what's expected of you, and the talent level surfacing. Will Franklin, junior from Houston, on the floor now for Bradley. This is O'Brien, the seven-footer. 
And there's an old America's play they call it screen the screener and they give him a nice look Somerville. Ball is out of bounds. That'll be Kansas ball. 5-4 in the early going. Bradley losers to Southern Illinois in the Missouri Valley Conference Championship game 10 days ago. Franklin quick. He can blow by people on the offensive end. But you've got to guard if you want to play at Bradley. Russell Robinson picked up by Franklin. Now here's Chalmers. Now the carry. Yeah, a lot of guys do that. They try and hesitate. It might work in AAU or the Summer League, huh? It's just the referees are looking for that Chalmers at that time with the cradle. Second Kansas turnover in the early going. And here is Wright on the floor for Twy. Lawrence Wright at a Beale Air Force Base in California. His dad, a Master Sergeant in the Air Force. He's one of those guys that can run the floor, but a quick jack there, I thought, Car. Yes. And Kansas with a rebound. They trail by one. Here's Robinson in the corner to rush. First team all Big 12 in his freshman season. And Brandon with the screen away, couldn't get out. Well, he does things smoothly. His name is Rush, but he's under control. How about the follow? Yeah, he's heads up. Well, you know first that you pulled the string a little bit. Good heads up play. Six to five with 16, 28 to go. First half. Other games getting ready to tip, and we will take you to them. Then against the second seed, Texas. UAB against Kentucky. That tip time is 9.58. Those of you expecting to see those games, we'll get you there for the start. You know, Jim West was telling both of us yesterday, he, if the guys guard, they can take some shots, maybe some quick shots. He said, you know, they do the job at that end, they, they're going to get a chance to play. I think right with the little down screen. And I said, it reminds me a little of Tark at Vegas. That's the way they, they guard and will give you an opportunity. You know, be sound with it, but uh, you got some freedom at the other end. Kansas up by one, 6-5. Oops, thrown away. That's three turnovers. Yeah, Robinson thought Rush was, Rush was fading. They thought he was curling to the rim. And Robinson uh, running the point is let Chambers play off the basketball. I think that's had a great impact on this team and their outlook. Bill Franklin. Number four, Tony Bennett. And here's the big one, O'Brien. Right, spot up three, got a great look. And yeah, nice patience by Brian. He anticipated the double, got rid of it quickly. Lawrence Wright guarded loosely by Julian Wright, and he got the three. And Bradley's back on top. Robinson, alley oop, two strong, four turnovers. And uh, Bryant with great hustle showing on the outside. 8-6 Bradley, Kansas shooting itself in the foot early on. Near the end of today's game, we'll select a Chevrolet player of the game from each team. Chevy will make a $1,000 contribution to each university's general scholarship fund. America's brand supports America's best Chevy and American Revolution. We're back at the Palace of Auburn Hills. Bradley leading Kansas 8-6, 15-23 to go, first half. UAB, Kentucky coming up. That one getting ready to start. It's a nine versus an eight, a tip time of 9.58 Eastern. Trap, and the ball back outside. Lawrence Wright goes left, finds Brandon Rush. And they're trying to get it organized. Let's see, they're not sure. Oh, they finally get it. Well, Andrew's on the floor now, giving Patrick O'Brien and Bill has been active early. You get the idea that Bill Self disagrees with the call? Yeah, I don't think, I mean, very seldom do you see him that hot. Must have been something he saw clearly. Of course, every coach could say that. <laughs> right side. Back outside to right off the mark. Loose ball picked up by the Jayhawks. Russell Robinson. Brandon Rush. This is Rush. Under 15 to go now. 8-6. 
Wright tries to establish a post position. Now comes out with a screen. And they're going to overload and duck in opposite for Khan. Spin move and a whistle foul call. I think maybe it's on second call in there. It is. Khan. Three wow. second violation. Woo. That's five turnovers already. Yeah, you know, I'm watching out there, and Robinson really runs this team and has done a great job. The last seven games, five plus assists. Maybe able to get as organized as you would expect. Bill Self continues to give the official a near full. There's a reverse layup. Will Franklin. And it's a 10-6 game. Jumper rush in and out. Wow. Right. Tip no. Sasha Khan. That one won't go. Kansas struggling. Without O'Brien able to play ping pong or volleyball. Off the glass, no. Khan. Touch last. Oh, how about that athletic move? Did That's you, a, did you see that? I would be out for the year. Andrews. Zach Andrews. That's that's the move of the day. You and I would be hospitalized oh, if we tried that. Call the medics. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Watch Zach Andrews, number 21, roll over and how do you get up? That is incredible. Easily. And an offensive foul right here. Not a good play. The push off by Chambers. A little rattled, and you don't know with young people how they're going to respond. And right now, it hasn't been responding well for KU. So Bill Self's going to his bench and going for maturity. Jeff Hawkins comes in. And he has lit it up. Uh, this is a guy that can make jumpers, experience, fifth-year guy in a sense. You know, he's been, been around, knows what it takes. Look at this help defense. Underneath, Kansas has it. Here comes Hawkins, number one. Well, nice play by Robinson. Darnell Jackson's also off the Kansas bench. Wow, what a sophomore, number 32. And, and Vern Hawkins on the floor, not with a real good look. And Giles not on a good angle, not in good position, and they had weak side help. We have played less than seven minutes. Kansas has turned it over seven times. Six turnovers in their last seven possessions. Now, this is the same play they ran earlier against Somerville with a clean look. How about this? Marcellus, marvelous. 4-3. Kansas timeout. Bradley by seven. 13-17 to go. Opening half of play. Bradley up by seven. As Kansas gets it inbounds. Darnell Jackson has come on. C.J. Giles also on the floor now for Bill Self's Kansas team. Jackson gives him some strength inside. Very tough competitor. He really holds off. O'Brien had no chance because of the hold off by Jackson. Great play. Robinson gets uh, the basket. And it's a five-point game. Daniel Ruffin, number 20. Half brother of A.J. Guyton out of Peoria, the Indiana star. Their father is the... Uh, Head coach at Peoria Central. There's a miss from point blank range. Here comes Russell Robinson from Kansas. And a good poise to look in. A little tough in the early offense, but great recovery by Bradley. Hawkins looks inside. Giles is being fronted. It's another one. That's Brandon Rush just inside the yard. Is that big time? A pull up, smoothness. From the corner, no. I think they got the big guy. Let's see if they give it to him. Patrick O'Brien, yeah. the seven-foot sophomore from Blaine, Minnesota, picks up the foul. And Vern, we both spent a little time with Bill Self yesterday discussing this young team. And it's interesting, even a guy who's watched this team progress, he's not sure how they're going to respond. I mean, this is a next level NCAA tournament. And early on, shaky play by them. And that's why he turned, got a little excited with the officials, begging a little bit, you know, just trying to lay off them, let them get their comfort zone. They have carved uh, the lead to only three now, 13-10. Robinson in the paint, and a foul is called. Kansas clawing back. It's 13-10, 11.55 to go first half. Kansas led by three freshmen. 
Brandon Rush, Mario Chalmers, and Julian Wright in what seasons they have put together. Uh, unbelievable, of course. Chalmers, the uh, most outstanding player in a Big 12 tournament. We've seen Rush, his improvement all year long. And I just love the upside of Julian Wright. It's a terrific passer, that point forward mentality. And he's going to get better with that jump shot. Rice doesn't get the roll. And he'll shoot one more. Robinson, rather. I'm looking at Rice from high school. And how about the bandage over the eye yep. in the quarterfinals? James on Curry with a clean play. He looked like he had a fight with uh, Mike Tyson. The blood camera got seven stitches. But a gamer right back at it. Russell Robinson out of New York, New York. He can hit harder on the subway in New York <laughs> than James on did. Here's Daniel Ruffin, number 20, guarded by Hawkins. Back outside in his hands. Here's Bryant in the corner, baseline. That shot short. Somerville flies for the rebound. Nice job. A oh, great hustle by him. You know, Bryant, terrific finding people out of the post. They end up with a great shot because of the pass, and then the hustle by Somerville. Will Franklin gets the basket, the junior out of Houston. And the margin of difference is four with 11.15 to go first half. Right, uh, rush rather. And Giles was trying to load up, ended up being a, not, let's see, uh, Jackson, excuse me, a little too aggressive. Jackson gets called for the foul. Fifteen eleven. Hawkins picks up Ruffin in the backcourt. Kansas trailing by four, under eleven to go, first half. Eight unanswered by Bradley gave them a six-point lead. Now Julian Wright kicks it outside. That's for three off the mark. Bradley with a rebound. Daniel Ruffin, the guard, at 5'10". Gets a screen from the seven-footer, O'Brien. Back right side, Somerville traveled. Yep, that nice and Wright was there, too. They've done a nice job on that high-low screen down and seal in the lane. That eventually led to that turnover. J.J. Twy back on the floor. Number 10. Out of Verona, Missouri. Small town near Springfield. And how about the youngest of nine? Correct. Right. Seven brothers who played basketball at Verona High School. Five of them scored in excess of a thousand points. <laughs> no pikers in that family. <laughs> Does anybody give it up in the family? <laughs> <laughs> no assists. Here's Sasha Khan. Tough games in the backyard, though. Back outside to Jeff Hawkins, number one. Hawkins, the senior from Kansas City, Kansas. Off the curl, little lean in for Chalmers. No, Twy with a rebound. Oh, he lost it. And he gets the giveaway, too. He does a lot of good things, Twy, trying to rush it. Terrific read defensively by Chalmers. Twy has started the last 16 games. Help Bradley get into that Missouri Valley Conference championship game. Here's a footnote, mm -hmm. historical. Bradley has won eight Missouri Valley Conference championships. Kansas has won 13. Well, <laughs> that was a few years ago. How did that happen? <laughs> well, they played at the Missouri Valley Conference up until 1929. Those tournaments were great in those days. <laughs> you remember the this Missouri Valley even makes you think of last year, at least. Oh, you bet. 9.40 to go first half. It's gotten sloppy all of a sudden. Eight turnovers for Kansas. Jumper, rough it. No, foul call. That's one of those, uh, you know, get there, but don't reach down. Give a two shot. You may not have made it anyhow. Foul is on Jeff Hawkins. That'll send Daniel Ruffin to the line. <laughs> CBS Sports Line is your destination for complete tournament coverage. Get bracket updates, video highlights, and expert analysis for each tournament game at CBSSportsLine.com.
Daniel Ruffin, the sophomore from Peoria, an 89% free throw shooter, gets them both. And Bradley's lead is back at six. Now they extend to the floor. They were on the ball. Look at this. The give back. Off the glass and in. The kid sees things right. He sees them ahead. He does a lot of right. Julian. And a foul on Hawkins. That's his second quick foul. Just, you know you're going to get it back when you play with the big fella. And taking the legs away, Hawkins. And he's upset with himself on that little... Nickel Dimer, Vern. And a seat on the bench for Jeff Hawkins. Russell Robinson is back on the floor. 17-13. Bradley leads. Bradley out of Peoria, Illinois. Close to Jayhawks from Lawrence, Kansas. Meeting for only the second time ever. Last game in 1950 in the NCAA tournament. The jumpers. Good. Marcellus Somerville. Well, he, he's got some ability this guy he likes the ball too come crunch time oh not an offensive foul a push down by Chalmers got away with it rush off the glass and a foul is called underneath I'm going to say it was knocked out of bounds oh that's it no yeah foul. 8.50 to go Jim Les looks on his team up by 7 now they run some nice plays on the out of bounds. This is a double screen, staggered down. Didn't get anything out of it for Rush. Chalmers gets a screen from right. There's the entry pass. Drive to Dish. Khan saves it. Robinson got the basket and is fouled. How about the way he turned his shoulder, gets squared, and goes to the left hand so you can take the hit, search out the letters. Patrick O'Brien is in here. This is intimidating for anybody, but look at how he dips, switches, full extension, and in the release. Robinson at the line. O'Brien has to take a seat on the bench with his second foul. And Russell Robinson will try for the old-fashioned three-point play. And a race high school in New York. They turn out some terrific players. Lead stays at five for Bradley. Robinson goes for the steal from behind. Zach Andrews back on the floor now, number 21. Here's Ruffin. Here's the weave. Nice backdoor cut. What a beautiful play. Now that weave is very effective. Where they can turn the corner or they keep active underneath. J.J. Twy with the basket. Robinson is bumped and goes down. Take another look at that, Bill. Well, getting yourself in position on the weave is key. You can see, just don't count the house. Make your move, and Twy gives of you a reason why to deliver that pass. J.J. Twy, Verona, Missouri. He'll go to the bench. And the foul is on Ruffin, his second. One more. Bradley with 17 fouls, so Kansas in the bonus. Robinson has seven points. Will Franklin back on the floor now for Bradley. Somerville is there as well. Tony Bennett. Zach Andrews and Luther Wright, Lawrence Wright. I think they get something done right here. Some of them can elevate on the jump shot or at least post up. With the smaller Vincent on him. They're not looking in. High screen set for the shot clock. Franklin underneath, got it! Well, they are clever, huh? Nice read, nice slip, and the delivery. Terrific decision on the release. Great entry. Sasha Khan slams it all. That might be called a Khan job, huh? Oh, what a great pass to the box area. High screen, Andrews. Baseline jumper. And a rebound. Mario Chalmers does control it. Sasha Khan trying to get some breath. He's, uh, he's winded. He's right. pooped. 
Oh, Stephen he, Vincent on the floor. Excuse me, Bill, number 20. He wasn't too pooped to pop that last trip, though, was he? Little scoop shot underneath. Kansas has closed to within three. Yeah, the kids are so good at splitting that show. Vincent fronting Somerville in the low post. And they can't get it to him. Well, you don't want to foul now. You're playing good game. Entry pass, and there is the foul from Vincent on Somerville. Take a look at Sasha Khan. He certainly can. Send him in, big fella. 24-21, 6.23 to go first half. Bradley has led twice by seven. Most recently at 24-17. Kansas back within a three. Jim Les, fourth year as the head coach at his alma mater. Casey was telling us that after the sixth league game with Wichita State, they were really not playing well. Changed everything. Like, what do you say? Tony Bennett's going to start. And everybody else said, show me they want to start. And all of a sudden, whoever worked hardest got the opportunity, and they seemed to be a far different team. Sasha Khan with the rebound on the miss. Here's Russell Robinson back outside to Khan. Chalmers might have gotten away with a little push. Ball on the floor. Touch last by. Well, the Bradley Braves on the bench seemed in. Uh, Unanimity to the well, <laughs> touch last by Kansas. And why not? Nice play by Wright, though. He sort of threw it off uh, the KU player. And Jim Les, uh, when I saw him play, he had dark hair. That's what this game was to <laughs> Will Franklin at the point, number four. Gives it off to Tony Bennett. Here's the weave again. Worked uh, really well last time out. They got the backdoor cut. And Julian Wright so long out there, just negated that handoff. In the hands of Will Franklin, shot clock again under 10. Franklin from the baseline gives it up, in and out, and Brandon Rush clears it for Kansas. Five and a half to go, first half. Back outside, Julian Wright, Tom wants the alley. Oop, and it's a foul on Wright. 24-21, Bradley, ball to be inbounded now by the Jayhawks. I beg your pardon, it'll be a free throw, one and one, as Sasha Khan goes to the line. Young man born in Tomsk, Russia, to the Air Academy in Melbourne, Florida. J.J. Twy back on the floor now. Yeah, you mentioned that Khan, he followed his classmate uh, to get an education, basically. In America, and he found out, I guess, uh, when you're that size, the coach says, Why don't you come into the gym? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, how observant basketball coaches are. <laughs> Two point game right now. Both teams hitting above 40%. Three point field goals. Bradley, four of 11. Kansas yet to can one. And the Jayhawks turned it over seven times in the first 10 minutes of the ball game. I mean, they've calmed it down, though. It's going to settle down. With Rush, you have a three guard look, even though he plays the small forward. He handles well. Bradley still leads, but only by one. It'll be interesting to see Twy now with right on him. Nice hold off by Twy. Oh my God, he does some terrific things. Uh, right got turned around and then a little blow by. Get the exhaust ready. Put it on the deck and watch Twy just seal now, making sure right. Can't intimidate. Foul is on Robinson, and Daniel Ruffin goes to the free throw line. One more. Hey, I know you're of that age. Chet the Jet Walker. Is that come to? Oh, yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Gene Melchiori. Melchiori. Right. That's right. Yes, that's those great NIT days of the 50s. A terrific program later on you mentioned with Stan Albeck, Percy Hawkins, and Jim Les. Dick Versace. Yeah, excuse me. Old like friend, that. he was uh, Jim Les's coach. Mm -hmm. And then Stan had Hersey after that. Event. Right in two years. Stan Albeck and Hersey Hawkins. 26-23, five to go first half. Now this high-low, they with right in the game, he can either do the damage with the Now this is the shot he's going to get really better at. I mean, that's 
the final addition to his repertoire. Little 12 foot jumper for Julian Wright. And again, a one point game. Ruffin goes left for Twy. There's Brandon Rush guarding Somerville. Tony Bennett, number five. And Twy is clever, so if Wright leaves him. He knows how to get to the open area. Somerville calls for it. The double comes from Khan. It was blocked, though. They've got to stay there. The shot was blocked. That's exactly what Jim Les yeah. is saying. Wow. I think they've got a piece of it. Nevertheless, mm -hmm. it goes over. <laughs> Sorry. So much for Jim. This is our fourth game. I, I just couldn't. I couldn't resist. A <laughs> little oh, <was> grab there. <laughs> They're roughing. Where you have to make good passes with the foot speed. Daniel closed beautifully, and number three on him. It's part of that three guard look that they like. So Ruffin is going to have to head to the sideline, and Will Franklin will take his place. Daniel Ruffin. 26 25. 4 12 to go. Robinson back to the free throw line. One and one. Jayhawks with a chance to take the lead. I know you've been to Allen Fieldhouse. I mean, they've really done a nice job, too. A lot of things that uh, people don't see. Offices, rooms, windows, new scoreboard. It's really a museum. I mean, what a... You know, Billy, you, you and I are lucky. We get to travel around the country doing games in different venues. Mm -hmm. Allen Fieldhouse is my favorite. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's right up there. Absolutely. 27-26, Jayhawks have gotten on top. Bill Self urging his team on at the defensive end now. Here's Twy for Bradley. Uh, well, there was a little bit of a hold in both spots. Giles underneath. And right outside, take your pick, Vern. I think they get Giles. <laughs> Foul called on Giles. Three minutes, 58 seconds to go. First half. Sophomore Patrick O'Brien getting ready to go to the line. 27-26, Kansas leading by one. O'Brien, the seven-footer from Blaine, Minnesota. One more. Coming up on singular at the half, Greg Gumbel, Clark Kellogg, and Seth Davis will take you out for a live look at all the action going on in the NCAA tournament. They'll get you caught up on all the latest tournament news, plus a singular Naismith update. That's all coming up on singular at the half. Busy day there in the studio, but a fun day. And uh, Jim was saying that O'Brien is a sponge in terms of knowledge, going to get much better as the year years go on. Wide tracks down the loose ball. That's nine turnovers now for Kansas in this ball game. We're tied at 27. Will Franklin, number four, into the hands of Twy. He's got a little bit of a hook. Let's see if he goes to it. Nice. Goes baseline. And is Giles going to be called for this one? I yeah. think so. Now those two have been banging one another with regularity, and he went to the left down there. That's pretty impressive. A youngster with a big upside. Now, earlier this season, Patrick O'Brien against Tennessee Tech came within one block of only the second triple-double in the history of Bradley basketball. He had 19 points, 16 rebounds, and nine blocks in that game. And when watching tape, getting ready for this one, you can see how intimidating a force he can be on that defensive end. Sasha Khan on for C.J. Giles. Just to complete that little footnote, the only triple-double in Bradley history in 1970, Cal Criddle. Mm -hmm. 12 points, 10 rebounds, 10 assists. One of two again. And O'Brien, a guy that when he first came, they said he was extremely weak. They've gotten on a pretty strenuous weight program, and he is just eclipsed with regularity. Khan does a good job of establishing. Oh, what an up and under, and then he misses. 
Good effort, the though. Point huh? blank, yes. Hell ball, possession arrow goes Bradley's way. So, you know, have you ever been under there against a guy like O'Brien? You say the beast, he's one of the premier shot blockers. You're looking over your shoulder, you're hearing footsteps, and you're killing Sasha. The answer to your question is no. And you don't intend to be. I haven't been. Uh, he should have finished that, though. You're right. Oh, what a great move he made. Oh, goodness. Under three to go, first half. Bennett on the curl, gets the ball. Guarded by Chalmers. And there Offense. Go. That hurts, huh? Tony, his second. Don't leave your heart there with the push-off. You just couldn't resist. Could you? <laughs> huh? That's, uh, at least that's I, your answer to my nevertheless. At least I didn't sing. <laughs> For which we are all great, great, grateful. eternally grateful. Yes. 28-27, 245 to go in the half. Robinson guarded by Franklin. Back cut. Nice defensive job by Franklin. Here's Rush. Little floater. Short. Tip no good. And Twy again. He's always there. Yep. What makes Rush tough though is he can really get up on that jump shot. I'm surprised he didn't finish that. Somerville. Yes! And why would you leave him alone? Now this kid can light it up. Nice space out after screens. Leading scorer on the Bradley starting five with 15 points. He's got nine on three threes in the first half. Blocked. Shaq, get it out of town. But Vern, we have just seen after screen spacing out and Somerville unhurried from deep and anything around you expect O'Brien to be the guy that gets it out. Now this time, Zach enters on the spot. Inbound, Sasha Khan. Well, they Chalmers this. offense. Boy, and who's there again? Twy as he may. In the right spot, moving those legs, being in position. And this is just great. And you can be moving. That arm is extended, makes it a much easier call. 31-27, Bradley calls time. In the middle of that huddle while we were away, an impassioned Bill Self pleading with his team to get a little tougher. And uh, his team trailing. Chalmers picks up his second foul. There's Bill Self, third year as the head coach at Kansas. Came there from Illinois prior to that. At Tulsa. Danny Adams on the floor now for the first time, number 32. In and out Twy. Look at that. Unbelievable. J.J. Twy, number 10. He knows his role, Jim West said. Just whatever he can do to make this team better and win. This is Danny Adams, number 32. Somerville. Adams guarded by Wright. Somerville jumper short. And you stay right there. Looks that way. Yeah, I'm one of the big guys on the holdoff. 31-27, 114 to go in the half. Foul called underneath on Kansas. The foul was on Robinson, his second. This is a Bradley team that twice has led by seven points. Kansas fought back to tie it up at 27 all, but Bradley with four unanswered. And now Zach Andrews, number 21, at the line, shooting two. Remember, Kansas struggling early with turnovers, sort of got that under control, and now a couple of discards at the other end coming up empty, and uh, the confidence building in this Bradley team. And one other point, Vern, when you see players pushing off on drives, it's frustration because the footwork of the defense, instead of complimenting it, getting off the floor and passing it, you throw the guy away. 0 for 2 for Zach Andrews this trip, and a 31-27 lead for Bradley as we near the one-minute mark. Memories of last year's first round loss to Bucknell, I'm sure, reverberating through the fans' minds as Kansas has trailed throughout this game. They did tie it up, as we said, 27-all. But this is uh, the four-seeded Jayhawks 
against the 13th seeded Bradley Braves, and they are getting a handful. Mm -hmm. They sure are, and, and Robinson doing what he should do, using the dribble constructively. I thought he had a little floater, but he took it all the way to the rim. An aggressive pursuit of the 10. That's what you need. Not perimeter dribbling. Memphis and Bucknell have already advanced in the Oakland bracket. They'll meet in the second round game. Pittsburgh won over Kent State here earlier tonight. And the Panthers will take on the winner of this one, either Kansas or Bradley, on Sunday afternoon. 0 for 2, this trip for Robinson. And we've got 55 seconds to go first half. Now we've got a 2 for 1 situation here. Franklin stays in. Tracked down by Zach Andrews. They keep it going, the shot clock. So they still can get the two for one if they want. Let's see now. It's funny, college guys don't think of that that often. Ten seconds on the shot clock. From the corner, yes! J.J. Oh. Twy. Now he can do it, they just don't ask him to do it often. That equals the largest lead. It's the third time now that Bradley has been up by seven. Why 40% from three coming in today's game. Kansas will play for the final shot of the half. Robinson, good defense by Franklin. And he knocked it out. He knocked it out. Good call. Well, you try with the ball. Ball fake throws the defense off and a little nylon from the corner. A guy who just does anything to help his club perform and excel. One of nine kids, as we said, from the family in Verona, Missouri, 10 miles from Springfield. Well, he's learned how to share if he's got nine. <laughs> or Graham, one of the two. 11 Kansas turnovers in the first half. Franklin. Got it! Oh, a little kiss! He got it! Does that give you a lift if you're a brave follower? Bradley ends the half with the bank shot. 11 unanswered points. And plenty of time, too, with a little smooch back in Peoria. Another look. No question that it was good. That's the end of the first half, 37-27. Bradley on Franklin. All right, 10-point lead for Bradley at halftime in Dallas. There is a timeout with 6.3 seconds left to play. Penn leading Texas 23-22. We'll be back. Heritage Bank congratulates Bradley and the U of I. CBS Sports exclusive coverage of the Men's Basketball Championship is sponsored by Autotrader.com, Bud Light, the Hartford Mutual Funds, and by Pontiac. Bradley by 10 at the break, and they've got 7 to 15, Bill, from three-point range. Terrific distribution of the basketball. Great acknowledgement. Getting the puppy set nice and early. Wright starts it off. Somerville gets a lot of clean looks. KU's got to step it up and get out on them. They've done a good job inside, but Somerville, an outstanding performance early on here. Bradley playing so well. Kansas very young. Can they get back? Sure they can. I think they've got to go more of a power game. The guard is doing a lot of dribbling. They've had a lot of discards with the push-off. Uh, take advantage of the big guys. I think they can do it and run the floor. That's a big thing for KU. Well, the three freshmen for Kansas ineffective tonight. Total of eight points between the three of them. And 17 points for Bradley off turnovers tonight. Kansas, nada. Zipola. And that's the nice thing about Youth, it shall be served on occasion. They've got bounce back ability. Let's see how they handle it. Here's Sasha Khan. Kansas by 10, they're trailing by 10. Here's the pick and roll. Chalmers kicks it in the corner. Brandon Rush, jumper, no. He didn't shoot it, he cradled it. Somerville gets the rebound for Bradley. Ruffin on the floor playing with three fouls. 
The point guard, here's J.J. Twy, a great presence he's, for Bradley in the first half. He sure has, and they're rough and able to get in the lane, and look at this little floater. Well, Bryant tries to save it, it's on the floor, picked up by Julian Wright for the Jayhawks. Now Robinson, Khan wanted it. O'Brien gets back to defend it. There's the entry pass, and there's Sasha Khan. And again, short. O'Brien, a real defensive presence He's right there. He's such an influence, Fern. And you don't get an easy, clean look. Defensive, most valuable player in the Missouri Valley Conference. And now at the other end, in for Bradley. And Khan did not get back and get in position. Patrick O'Brien, terrific reading into the rim. Bradley has scored 13 consecutive points. How about this steal, too? Great denial in the post. Uh, Somerville outstanding on both ends of the floor. Kansas trails by 12, and they've turned it over 12 times. In the corner, kick out O'Brien. From the corner, Twy. Now look at that duck in. That is too easy. Uh, Wrap around pass. Somerville misses O'Brien. That's tough. The uh, big guy can't get the eye hand coordination. Kansas Jayhawks fought back and led 27 to 26 late first half. Bradley into the first half with 11 unanswered points. And now Kansas finally, Mario Chalmers with his first basket. And they put an end to a 13 to nothing run for the Bradley Braves. But why at the other end? Great response. I mean, it beating Kansas down the floor. We saw O'Brien earlier, and that time Twy. Well, lucky here. He didn't get that call. Could have been going the other way again, but nice pressure bounce. First by Chalmers for KU. And this time the push by Russell Robinson. Foul is called on Tony Bennett. He's the second backcourt mate to get three fouls for the Bradley Braves. And Bill Self over there letting the guys know defensively you can't let these guards turn the corner. Three freshmen, two sophomores start for Kansas. Bill Self telling us yesterday he wasn't sure how his team would play tonight because of their youth. In the Oakland bracket, already Memphis has advanced the top seed. Bucknell did as well down in Dallas. Pittsburgh, relatively easy victory earlier tonight here against Ken State. And the Panthers await the winner of this one, Kansas or Bradley, on Sunday afternoon. Yeah, they're going to have to get a blanket and spread it across the country anymore. The unknown, the, 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 it's incredible the performance by teams. People expect to lose or expect to win. It's getting closer. This is the difference we had at halftime as Will Franklin hit a 45-foot shot at the buzzer to give Bradley a 10-point lead. A good pressure by Chambers. They're automatic switching out here, too, on exchanges. This is Franklin with the ball. Now he gives it up to Ruffin. Bryant calls for it in post, being defended by Khan. That one in and out. And Sasha Khan with the rebound. Nice job by Wright. Very big influence on that miss. Robinson with a stutter step in the lane. Puts it up a little too strong. Rebound, Somerville. Now don't be in a hurry. 41-31. Okay, Ruffin really put some pressure on you with the push. The big guys banging one another. Foul is on Sasha Khan. Uh, Jeff Hawkins is going to come on the floor for Russell Robinson for Kansas. 41-31. Last year as a three seed. Kansas defeated in the first round by Bucknell. Tonight, as a four seed, they trail Bradley by 10. Well, they get the mismatch and a good read. How about that? Ruffin with the dump down, but the big fella just screams, opens, and gets to the box. Oh, right. Right. This is a Kansas team that won 15 out of its last 16 games. The one loss was 80 to 55 to Texas, and here is the 13th turnover in the ball game. And twice the reason he left his man and gambled in front of the post entry. O'Brien again. And then we talk about his hook shot ability. Put back, Somerville, no. Chalmers, Kansas will run, it's four on three. Oh, walk. Off the mark, Sasha Khan. Pretty nice left. give underneath.
Bradley at the other end, J.J. Twy. Well, they're just getting back too late. This team is taking it to them. Les said we can run, and they certainly can. And Les is more because they play such good defense. Jim Les, the head coach in his fourth year at his alma mater. Great shooter when he played there for Dick Versace. Ten-point Bradley lead. 16.03 to go in the ball game. Twy is at the line. With NCAA March Madness on demand, you can watch live tournament games on your computer outside of your viewing area for free. Sign up now at NCAAsports.com slash M-M-O-D. Vernon Sack Andrews in the game really gives O'Brien a blow and gives them solid minutes. Gets about 16 a game. Really good reaction on the defensive end as well. J.J. Twy, second free throw. And the lead is back to 11. And they extend the pressure now. Jeff Hawkins puts it in the hands of Mario Chalmers. Chalmers out of Anchorage, Alaska. A right, little shove. Not good basketball right now. Whew. Bradley by 11, 44-33. With 15.53 to go. And Somerville will inbound. That's the only Jayhawk that doesn't have a turnover. <laughs> They have really struggled with the basketball. The backcourt has eight between Russell Robinson and Mario Chambers. Here's Will Franklin. Pressured by Robinson as he comes across the midcourt. Zach Andrews back on the floor for Bradley. Jumper, Somerville. Yes! Boy, they're not going to go away. That's an easy screen by Andrews. If Kansas is going to win, they're going to have to play their best. This is a good basketball team, Bradley. Skip pass, Robinson in the corner. That's for three. And then the halftime rush was banging those long jumpers down. If they can drive Jordan, get him involved a little bit more, he can be very difficult to defend. Rush, first three of the ball game. Back to Twy. Little fade away. Somerville, that's for two. Oh, just ride them, ride them when they're hot. And that's an old NBA concept. Get it to the guy who can knock him down. Somerville with 14 points for Bradley. Brandon Rush. Little crossover, right out to defend. And look at this pressure D. Chalmers, wide open three, way off the mark. He is having a troubled game. He sure has. And, and this is a guy who's improved his game in a solid fashion, gotten better each and every game. This is talking to his dad yesterday, assistant coach Ronnie Chalmers, director of operations, and he just couldn't get over the progression of the young people, including his son. 49-36, 14-38 to go. A little bit of a zone look now, just to maybe change it. This is an old-fashioned deal. Make them look differently. In the corner, Somerville. Back to Will Franklin. Bradley up by 13. With 14.20 to go in the ball game. This is Patrick O'Brien hit from behind, and the ball knocked out of bounds. It will be Bradley's. And Vern, sometimes they'd have to be a great zone, but it's just the change that throws people off out of their tempo. And right now, down to 10 seconds, it has had its impact. Jim Les, the coach, telling us yesterday that back on January the 11th, they played Missouri Valley full Wichita State. Here's the turnover. Robinson takes it all the way. No. The putback, however, is good. And there is a foul. And Robinson goes right into the Kansas cheerleaders. Well, some guys get all the breaks, as they say. <laughs> uh, that's just terrific coaching from the sideline. Just the change, causes the turnover, and then the breakout. And right here, if you can't use the glass, a lot of times that ricochet is not a romance that favors you, but good hustle in the secondary. Chalmers at the line. J.J. Twy heads toward the Bradley bench. <laughs> Free
free throw shooting. Not good tonight for Kansas either. 49-38 with 14 to go. Howdy Bennett. Bennett. How about the adjustment in the air and the foul is going to be called underneath. C.J. Giles picks up his third. They did not get back in any position. That's what caused that difficulty. They were in a one-two-two. The back man, Giles, didn't get in the proper spot. Third personal on Giles. Go to mycokerboards.com slash NCAA to play Coca-Cola NCAA Championship Run 2006. Giles with a rebound, two misses. 0 for 2 in a sense with that zone. Even when they got to the foul line, you don't convert. It's an empty trip. It plays with your head. Jackson on the floor now for Kansas. And they do a nice job. The hands up. Don't let you get a view of the post entry. So the runner underneath. Jackson rejected by O'Brien. Another block. A whistle and a foul out near midcourt. Well, Patrick O'Brien is one of those guys that does not have to score to change the outcome of a game. He is there, he's a presence, he's a force. You start thinking, you start feeling, you start hearing. Foul is on Chalmers, that's the fifth Kansas foul. As Bradley leads it 49-38. The only other time these two teams met, March 20th, 1950, Bradley and Kansas a 59-57 win in the first round of the NCAA. From the corner, Somerville misses. And Kansas with a chance to get within single digits. Look at this explosion. Wow. Rush! The stretch of the legs. The push, huh? Is he tough? Nine point Bradley margin, 12.44 to go. And one of the few defensive lapses, no pinch by Bradley. And look at this again, almost a hand on it. The zone, right now, they're having the problems. Bradley has only turned it over eight times tonight. This is worth a conversation if they miss this one. And they don't. They don't need a conversation, huh? They got a period. Julian Wright getting ready to come back on the floor for the Jayhawks. From the corner, that's for three. Eight-point game, 51-43. Uh, Russell Robinson does a little bit of everything. 32 from three. They've been flashing the post the last couple of trips. I would think Patrick O'Brien can get a follow on a miss. I don't have that identification on a checkout against the zone. Somerville. O'Brien gets the rebound, kicks it back outside. Franklin, great look. Oh, give the assist to the big fella. A lot of guys would have tried to do something that would damage the team, not him. Good kick out. Franklin with another three. He had the 45-foot shot at the buzzer to end the first half, and here's a foul underneath on O'Brien. That's three on O'Brien Franklin with another three time call. Bradley by 11, 11 24 remaining. As the Braves seeded 13th, runners up in the Missouri Valley Conference Championship game to Southern Illinois, trying to knock off the Big 12 tournament champion Kansas team. Danny Adams back on the floor now for the Bradley Braves. Jackson at the free throw line. Jackson for Kansas, shoots one more. The margin is 10 with 11.24 to go. It was 10 at the break. The last Kansas lead, 27-26. Julian Wright going to reappear now for the Jayhawks. Wright, the freshman from Chicago Heights, Illinois. And learn if a lot more things go through him, there's a lot more positives occur for KU. Daniel Ruffin at the point. 
Young man from Peoria, Illinois. Mentioned in the first half, his half brother is A.J. Guyton, Indiana Star. Yeah, Indiana Star. Well, he wasn't ready for that, huh? Game summary 54 45. Both teams hitting just above 40%. But look at the difference in three point field goals, especially for Kansas. Two for 18. Big disparity. They went man to man that time, KU. A little wrinkle out of the timeout. You'll prepare something for his own. They switched it up. Little yo yo with the defense. That's on the line. They do not get the roll. Sasha Khan back outside to Chalmers. He finds Khan in the paint. Oh, and he throws it away. Oh, he was stuck there. Well, Rush made one move and then did a counter. And a little look of exasperation on the face of Sasha Khan. Turnovers 15. They had seven in the first seven minutes of the ball game against Kansas. And they only averaged around 15 a game, and early in the year a lot of those occurred. Oh, Bryant. If Khan can play him, everybody can stay at home. Well, they don't. A nice pump fake because of the double. And Bennett, some sweet music. If you're going to help, you help strong and you get a rotation. You don't go into Never Never Land. We near the midway point of the second half. Here's Khan coming out to set the high screen. Chalmers left open. He cans a three. Now you go underneath against these perimeter shooters, you're going to pay. Ten to go. Bradley by eight. Danny Adams. Let me go to O'Brien again and see how they counter with the defense. And they do. Shot is short. Ball knocked into the hands of Daniel Ruffin for Bradley. O'Brien fatigued. I think that's what happens. It will not happen at the end of next year, I don't think. Well, I think Jim Les saw that and said, let's uh, let's take a break. Time call, 56-48. For our Southwest Airlines sideline report, 60 years ago last night, Max Falkenstein called his first basketball game for Kansas. Kansas lost to Oklahoma A&M 49-37. Max has indicated that this is his last year. He'll retire at the age of 82, and this might be his final game unless the Jayhawks can come back and uh, go into Sunday. He is one of the true gentlemen in our business. A, a smile and a pleasant word. 1,750 basketball games or 650 football games. Well, he's in your league with the amount of work he's done. <laughs> and it all started because his dad was the business manager of athletics and he was a college student. But you are right, a class act. Nice fake and then the build of the rim. And a whistle before the shot. Just a period to that paragraph. He's worked alongside Bob Davis for the last 21 years and they are an outstanding broadcast team. 58-48, 9-22 to go in this one. One and one. One more. for two this trip. Julian Wright gets the miss of Lawrence Wright. 9.15 remaining. Russell Robinson. Nice back screen to get right to the box. Cross screen and then a shape on it. And the jab step, Brandon Rush. Shot in and out, rebound O'Brien. 57-48, under nine remaining. Daniel Ruffin puts it in the hands of Tony Bennett. Khan doing a nice job trying to root out the big guy. Oh, here he could be too tough. And a nice defensive job by Sasha Khan. Now here comes Kansas. Robinson takes it all the way. Good! There's no help at all in the gamble by Ruffin. Margin is seven. Robinson has 18. Khan caught way outside. Here's Somerville, another oh, three. What a dagger. He's just salivating, get the touch, spacing out, able to convert from deep. Brandon. 
Marcus Somerville for the nine. Five of nine on three-point plays, Bill. And, and Vern Sasha Khan comes out. Julian Wright has to help out, so he's going to cover late. That rotation on that particular play, costly for KU, but Somerville it will light it up. Six foot seven senior from Peoria. Began his collegiate career at Southwest Illinois College. And that put it back to a 10 point difference. That's where we were at the break. And again, the last Kansas lead in this ball game, 27 26. Little runner in and out. Wright can't get it. It's Zach Andrews for Bradley. And a really outside oriented KU. Nice step in by Robinson. Entry pass. Defensive job. Brandon Rush foul call. Yeah, a little frustrated. Got a lot of ball up top. 7.45 remaining. The Bradley Braves by 10. One year ago in Oklahoma City, Kansas seated third, took on Bucknell, seated 14th. This put back by Simeon, then Bucknell center Chris McNaughton's hook shot over Simeon. Put the Bisons up 64-63. Simeon missed an open 15. Footer at the buzzer. Bucknell won that game. And already today, first round upsets today and yesterday. Here in Auburn Hills, Northwestern defeated Iowa on a buzzer beater. AM over Syracuse, Montana over Nevada, and you saw Bucknell won again over Arkansas. Now Bradley looks like they are doing an excellent job consistently, unabashed by playing the mighty Kansas. Somerville with 21 points. That's really extending the floor. I like this too. Just be, keep being aggressive. Here's Jeff Hawkins, guarded by Ruffin. And Vern, they've been settling outside. They've got to get something inside. They've run plays, but taking jumpers or in the lane floaters. Brandon Rush, C.J. Giles. Right there, the big. Here's Rush. Pretty low. Nice dish. That's nice. jam. Good, solid play. Terrific off the bounce. Little dexterity in control. Daniel Ruffin at the point for Bradley. 7-10 remaining. Inside for Somerville, what a factor he's been tonight. And they double him quickly and in a strong fashion. He tries to go baseline, comes back to his left. Quick touch on the right side. Now Bennett on carry. Rejected by Rush. Three on the shot clock. Plenty of time to run your stuff, though. Patrick O'Brien back on the floor for Bradley now, replacing Zach Andrews. And Russell Robinson on the floor replacing Chalmers. Chalmers looks like he's limping a little as he heads toward the bench. Looking for the lob. Inbounds taken away by Robinson. Yeah, what a tough gamble. I would settle just to get it in. In traffic. Rush, spin, jumper, in and out again. And what a check out by Somerville. He played both ends. Rough it. Don't need it. They got it. it. He got it. He'll take it. That's when you start applauding once it goes in. You're looking for the hook if it doesn't. 13 point Bradley lead. Nice pass to the box. Count Golden. Looking to get something out of the defense after this nice lob. And this is something I think they've got to be going to more frequently. Some power games, some quick hitters. Uh, take it to them a little bit. Don't be settling deep. Bill Self urging his team on. What a blow it would be to the Jayhawks to get knocked out in the first round for the second consecutive year. And that zone is effective, but at this point in the game, you've got to go after them. You can't settle in. Turnover. Chalmers, he's got Hawkins. He'll take it all the way, and then he's short with the shot. Wow! That's unbelievable. That caught rolling up his arm. Maybe a hand got in there to just throw him off. He's a talented player. One of those deals were made. That just run by, fumbled it. Yeah, you can see it. Good heads-up play. 
the defense reaction has been incredible. 65-54, 5.45 to go. Oh, look, up. Franklin, they had to holler, and he turned around and got it. Wilkins trying to do a job bragging in the backcourt. Somerville back to Will Franklin. And there's his screen across and the screen down. Back outside. Well, they dig well in the low post area. Shot clock at eight. Taken away again. Terrific denial. Robinson in the right spot. Chalmers for three. Wow. Airing it out. And that's okay. You got guys running at the rim. Five minutes to go. Chalmers has ten. All in this half. Another turnover. Chalmers. Then it's back. Basket good. And a foul. If you're going to get back in it, it's got to be the defensive end. They deny it on the box earlier. And here the pull, the grab. And Mario Chalmers, who knocked down the three, takes it to ten with some authority. And a chance for three. Protecting the ball. Getting it to the left side. Defense on the right. Knocking it down. Chalmers for a chance of three-point play. It would bring Kansas to within five. Second free throw of the night. He missed his only other attempt. Bradley by five with 4.50 to go. Got to be Somerville at some point on this trip. A little shaky right now on offense. Go to your mainstay. Ruffin gets by Hawkins. Here's Patrick O'Brien, the seven-foot sophomore. An eight-nothing Kansas run. And Robinson doing a great job defensively. In the corner, Franklin. Reach in, another turnover. Wright has it. Here comes Hawkins. He gets it to Robinson for Kansas. And this is where poise is important. Underneath, a foul is called on O'Brien. That's four on the seven-footer. You know what I love about Robinson that time? He didn't jack it up. He had poise, balance, and then spotted his teammate lurking on the baseline and right. So it's great intelligence to make the right move. Lawrence White back on the floor now for Bradley. He'll replace O'Brien, who goes out with the four fouls. Four and a little fatigue, too. Only the 15 foul on Bradley. Kansas will inbound. Oh, nice job. They'll fly. And Turnover. It should, and it shouldn't go the other way. That's all because of Somerville taking away the lob. That was the first look, and everybody else buttoned it up. 16th turnover for the Jayhawks tonight. And we've got a player injured for Kansas. That's uh, Julian Wright. Uh, being prepared on out-of-bounds plays, and they essentially took it away, caused the eventual turnover. And Bill trying to get begging for that one in the sense that he wanted the timeout. Instead, it will be Bradley Ball. 4-17 remaining. Here's Tony Bennett. They go back to the weave. Will Franklin puts it in the hands of Daniel Ruffin. An automatic switching. Now they could split it on occasion if they keep it up. Four minutes to go. Another fine play, and here's Chalmers. How the heck did he keep his dribble alive? Skip pass. Franklin back. It's out of bounds. Kansas ball. Well, how about Franklin? Great anticipation. You can move the way this team is playing. in favor of the Braves. 65-60, Kansas will throw it in. Robinson finds Chalmers. Little footer, he got it. What control, too. Good footing off the bounce. Three-point game. Tony Bennett. Bradley has turned it over the last five times they've had it. And there's a foul committed by C.J. Giles, I believe. It is going to be Giles. And maybe a step late, but how about this control? Let the defender run by, get your body under control, and on the run, able to convert. 
Tony Bennett will go to the free throw line. Fourth foul on Giles. Bennett, over the course of the year, a 71% free throw shooter. Don't you love it when kids have the courage to get up and stick them? In that particular play, Giles was a step late. Should have been able to control the penetration, but a little tardy. Tony Bennett gets two. And it's a five-point game again with 3.28 to go. Mario Chalmers comes right. Brandon Rush lays it off for Hawkins. Here's Giles. Harris by Somerville. Robinson, a trap on him. Now Franklin says, I'll take him. All perimeter people, but Giles for three. In and out, tips good. But did he do a smart thing? He's involved in the screen. They got right to the rim. Big heads up play. Under three to play. The lead is three for Bradley. Side pick and roll. Some real pops. Bennett. Giles comes out to defend. Let's go back to. Won't be as many things around the rim. He's going in for the shooter, I believe, right. O'Brien well, has four fouls. Lawrence Wright only one of four at the free throw line tonight. He shoots two. Friendly bounce. Yeah, nothing wrong with that stroke, though. That little spin makes it cradle. Let's go back to Greg Gumbel. 2.20 to go. 68-64. Somerville trying to jam up this high screen and roll. Robinson guarded by Franklin. Con with the screen again. Here's Robinson spin loop in the lane. Back outside. Chalmers, good look. Doesn't get it. And Bennett flies and is out of bounds. Right. Good hustle, but unfortunately the momentum carried him over the line. 68-64 with 1.58 to go. Kansas takes a 30 second time. And time is called by Kansas. 1.58 remaining, 68-64, Bradley. And Vernon got a great clean look there, a little breakdown defensively by Bradley. And usually with the dribble drive, they've been able to get a kick out. Bradley up by four with 1.58 to go. Kansas with three timeouts remaining. They just took one. And they have committed 10 fouls. The possession arrow favoring the Bradley Braves. And a full shot clock. So you can get organized. The high screen and roll has not been effective because it's been handled beautifully by Bradley. I would look for them to go for more of a high low. Let's see if they put a four man in with Sasha Khan. They've got the four. Perimeter people, though, so that's why they're going for the outside kind of screens. Now, let's check the five and the four for Kansas. It'll be Robinson, Rush, Kahn, Hawkins, and Chalmers. 35 on the shot clock. Robinson oh, throws goodness. it away. Goodness gracious. Again, uh, Bradley with a great job taking the initial look away. And no counter. Uh, no good movement. 17 turnovers for Kansas. Pressure by Robinson. A four-point Bradley lead. Winner gets Pittsburgh on Sunday afternoon. 1.44 to go. Nice slip by Somerville. Somerville did not get it. O'Brien with the putback, no. And here's Robinson roughing his back, and he makes the steal. Big play for Bradley. Big step in, in the hands again here. Ball's on the floor in the hands of Kansas. Now it's on the floor again. Khan gets it. 120 to go. 
115 remaining. Robinson in the corner. Hawkins short. Ball on the floor. The Bradley Braves lead with 105 remaining. Uh, trying to get the foul in the backcourt. They couldn't have gotten a better look for Hawkins. Came up a little bit short. Oh, frenetic play. Fourth foul on Chalmers, 102 to go. Jim Les in his fourth season trying to get the Bradley Braves into the second round game. An upset over Kansas, Bill Self's team knocked out by Bucknell in the first round last year. 64-63 in that one. And Will Franklin is at the line for Bradley. He shoots two. Back to a five point lead. Bradley was up by 10 at the half. Kansas, closest they've been is three. 68% shooter, remember the three at the half, the little ricochet. Now these kids made some good plays coming down the stretch. Six point game. One minute to go. Are you looking for your quick hit or something? Going to the rim. Robinson in the corner. Hawkins. Uh, penetrate, fine. A little ecstasy on that delivery. 51.6 left. Kansas calls timeout. Kansas takes a 30 second timeout. As Jeff Hawkins, the senior, cans it from the corner. Just get your feet set. The dribble gets everybody's attention. Great organization. Come up short on the last one. Gets the body into it. Push down. Lean forward. Don't back up. A little nylon. Three-point Bradley lead, 70-67. With 51 seconds to go, both teams with two timeouts. You can see Bradley has a foul to give. Kansas has committed 10, so Bradley will be in the double bonus every time they go to the line. And the possession arrow in Bradley's favor. And KU has done a nice job ranking the dribbler. And they may need two guards in the backcourt to assist one another. The difference in the ball game right now is a 45-foot shot by Will Franklin mm -hmm. that beat the buzzer at the end of the first half. That gave Bradley a 10-point halftime lead. Now there's a chance of a step and go long. Let's see how they handle it. Somerville gets an inbound. Ruffin, he's loose to Franklin at the other end. Got it! What a great play. Step and go, the inbound, and the goal man ends up wide open. Robinson, O'Brien, got up and made the play, and a foul. Robinson or Chalmers, which one? Chalmers, that's five. Avernus is great execution as they run the guards up and then a delay, and that's where Franklin and that open floor come up a little gimpy. And Khan really not able to get there to do any damage. Chalmers has fouled out 15 points all in this half. Four turnovers for Chalmers, the freshman out of Anchorage, Alaska. 36.4. Bradley runners up to Southern Illinois in the Missouri Valley Conference Championship game in St. Louis 11 days ago. They are up by five. And boy, they got better at the right time of the year. Second half of the season, collected themselves, got organized, more definitive in their offense, and just all solid play on the defensive end. You know, Jim's saying they've been able to get into better homes recently by that. Players of a higher level. I think a lot of Missouri Valley teams will be able to say that. Today, Chevrolet players of the game, Marle Marcella Somerville and Russell Robinson. And in their honor, Chevrolet donates $1,000 to the general scholarship fund of each school. Daniel Ruffin at the free throw line. He is perfect tonight. Four for four. 89%. Boy, that'll get you home. And the big thing for KU now is as quick as you can go, you don't have to go three. Get yourself set, see if you can get a denial, get a turnover, get a trap, extend the game. Wow, how about that? Just came off the line a little bit. Ruffin with one more. Ah! 
73-67. Bradley in the NCAA tournament for the first time since 1996. Nice down and through for Hawkins. Go to the rim. You end up trying to do three. If you don't make it, you're in deep trouble. Rush, Sasha Khan. They come back and try for the three again. 21 seconds to go. Now it's a three-point venture. Tom Biggett going for the two right away. Extend that game. You miss the three. They start rejoicing in Peoria. 17.4 to go. And Bennett goes to the line. He's two for two tonight. One more. Uh, they never backed off, did they? No. Think about it. I mean, a little run by KU. Showing a lot of Valentines out there. Great preparation. Even defensively on inbounds plays, you know, they were extraordinary. When KU would try and score. One year ago, Kansas defeated by Bucknell. That was a 14 against a three. Tonight, it's a 13 against a four. Franklin defensively from the corner, Hawkins. Time called, 9.4 to go. Kansas cuts the margin to five. Kansas with one timeout remaining. They trail by five with nine seconds to go. And Moody in the game, uh, either he'll be on the ball or face guard. The next logical receiver played a free safety. They ran a nice play early. They got it in and went deep after they got it in. Somerville runs the baseline, and the foul is called on Brandon Rush. Now you're going to extend the game. That's what you have to do. But the sprint to get free was the key. Don't want a five-second violation. And so the long walk to the other end of the court where Bradley will shoot two. Bill Selfsteen. I think he thought they had rid themselves of ghosts this year with the great finish and the convincing win over Texas in the Big 12 championship game, 15 and one to the end of the year. This very young team seemed to have come together, but tonight they have been handed it by a Bradley team that has been really great. We have seen the edge to a team that people think is not of that level. And uh, sometimes emotionally you don't peak. I mean, this is the NCAA and it's getting more difficult every year. First round now, you better be ready from the get-go. Tony Bennett shoots one more. Six-point game, 8.8 .8 to go. Hawkins. On a foul, just play now. They're going to give it before he shoots it. Yes. And a foul to give. That's only the sixth foul. team foul on Bradley. 4.7 to go. Jim Les prowling the sideline. His team in the NCAAs when he was a player in the mid 80s. Here's Hawkins. Got it. Three-point game, 2.5 to go. Still got inbounded properly. A lot of pressure on Bradley. Kansas out of timeouts, two seconds to go. Bradley with a three-point lead, and they will inbound the ball. And, and you've got to be prepared on your screen and your pop back if you're Bradley. Come to the ball, make them come over you or through you. Once again, Moody. On the big fella, O'Brien, and Rush looking to play free safety. Somerville will inbound for Bradley. Ball's time. What a great job. A lot of red shirts up at this end. Tough to inbound with so many people. You bring the defense into play. Bradley Braves with one timeout remaining. Two seconds on the clock. They lead by three. The difference is that Will Franklin 45-footer at the end of the first half. It sure looms big, and he can run the baseline here, which is very helpful to the inbounder. And he does. They give the foul before. Well, this is, you know, it's, it's one of those heads-up plays, and I think the punishment should be more severe away from the mm -hmm. ball before it's inbounded. Maybe something that could be addressed. So again, the long walk to the other end. 
Take you back to just before halftime. Will Franklin, as the clock was winding down, number four, launches one from 45 feet, bank shot. <laughs> well, you might mint that one. <laughs> the kiss by Franklin. And it is that shot that at this point is the difference in the ball game. Now Bennett at the line. That should do it. Yeah. Sasha Khan on the floor for Kristen Moody. And they've made all the big free throws coming down with the exception down the stretch. Bennett with one more. Off the mark. That's it. Bradley advances. Yep, it's a one-point game, and the Air Force bench becoming believers, but pretty much all Illini from there. James Augustine inside, he had 10, Illini back up 7. Then we showed you Jamar Smith, look at him screaming for the ball at the top of the screen, and that's why. The three-pointer there, he had 20 to lead the Illini. Then Brian Randall, also from Peoria, the steal and the monster dunk. He added 15, a true team effort as Illinois gets a 78-69 win. I thought our bench did a tremendous job. You get obviously you get 20 from Jamar, 12 from Warren, uh, and then we had a good mixture of inside outside early. We got some inside shots. Then we started making our threes, and uh, you know D had almost as a double double, but not with a oh, triple double. Close, really 10 assists, eight rebounds, eight uh, points. So uh, that's pretty productive for any point guard. The line I advanced to be Washington Saturday. You'll see that here on News Channel 31. In Auburn Hills, meanwhile, Bradley is less than 24 hours away from its tourney opener. Even though it's first trip to the big dance, it is their first trip to the big dance. The Braves aren't showing any rookie nerves. WMBD's Kurt Pegler has more from Auburn Hills. The Braves arrived in Auburn Hills, Michigan for their first NCAA tournament in 10 years. Ready to prove their invitation to the big dance is no fluke. They're walking around with a a good attitude, confident. They're walking around like they belong to be here, and they should, because they do. To right, the showtime comes here. Waiting for the Braves, the mighty Kansas Jayhawks, winners of the Big 12 Tournament Championship. I think they're a really good team, really good team in transition. They're a really good uh, rebounding team. I think we're going to have a tough matchup, but I think uh, that we can go out there and give them a pretty good fight. While Bradley and Kansas haven't met since 1950, at least two of the opposing players are very familiar with one another. Bradley's Patrick O'Brien and Kansas Sasha Khan were roommates at a big man's basketball camp last summer. He's just a great guy, you know. I, I had fun with him for those five days, you know, just rooming with him and just hanging out after practices and stuff. You feel like you know his moves now? Uh, no, you know, really didn't get the, we, you know, they broke us up into separate groups and we just ended up getting split up. Bradley is loose with nothing to lose. So loose, Jim Les and Lawrence Wright finished Thursday's practice with a dunk exhibition. <laughs> I, I did tease him though, because when we did this one the other day, uh, I didn't feel any breeze go by. And today I felt a little breeze go by. And I was a little nervous. I ducked a little bit. And the Braves say they won't duck the competition tomorrow. Kurt Pegler, News Channel 31 Sports, Auburn Hills, Michigan. Woo! Thank you, Kurt. Reminder News Channel 31 is the only place you'll see tomorrow's Bradley game. It's scheduled to tip at 8.40. One Valley Highlights. We're throwing it now over to Rob Coons for your first check of sports. Rob? Bob, lots of upsets so far in the tournament, and now you can add the Bradley Braves to that list. Jim Les had leading his team into the dance for the first time in a decade. Just before half, Will Franklin lets it fly and banks home a three. Braves up 10 at the break, and they don't let up. In the second, Marcellus Somerville from deep. They're up 14. Kansas cuts into it, but with a minute to play, Franklin again on the break. The layup puts Bradley up three, and they pull the stunner over Kansas, 77 to 73. Much more coming up in sports. Kurt Pegler joins us live from Auburn Hills with reaction from the Braves. Bob? Okay. Bomb on that team. Bradley, Big 12 tourney champ Kansas. Beaker's first round exit in last year's dance with the bookstore in Peoria be swamped with calls. Daniel Ruffin hit a three-pointer. Bradley up 65-62. Jeff Hawkins in a six-point game for the quarter as well. Kansas down three, but not a lot of time to work with. Off the inbound. Ruffin throws it over the press. Will Franklin lays it in. Bradley up five. Braves would go on to win at 77-73. KU out in the first round for the second straight year.
You're watching WMBD. Now, all your sports scores and highlights on News Channel 31 Sports Extra. Welcome to Sports Extra, everybody. Wow, what a night. I'm Rob Coons. Kurt Pegler joins us live from Auburn Hills in just a minute. March Madness is everywhere you look tonight, and it can't get any madder than it is in Peoria. Bradley dancing for the first time in 10 years. Marcellus Somerville has waited his whole career for this moment. First half, J.J. Twy having a huge game here on the backdoor cut. Hits the layup, puts Bradley up seven later in the first. Back to Twy, this time from long range. He had eight, all of them coming before the break. But talk about long range. Just before the half, Will Franklin banks home the long three. Braves lead by 10 at the break, and they are looking like believers. Second, the lead grows. Daniel Ruffin hits from downtown, 65 to 52, but the Jayhawks start to respond. Mario Chalmers hits the three here. Then it's back to Chalmers, who gets a steal, goes coast to coast for the bucket, and heads the line, cuts this to a 65-60 game, and the Jayhawks aren't done. Under a minute to play now, Jeff Hawkins drains the long one. It is a three-point game, but the Braves simply won't collapse. Will Franklin slips behind the defense. Look at him calling for the ball. He gets it. The layup, that's a dagger. He scores 14, and Bradley wins 77-73. to WMBD Sports Director Kurt Pegler joins us now from outside the Palace at Auburn Hills. And, Kurt, how excited are the Braves right now? Well, I'll tell you what, it was an unbelievable atmosphere at the Palace at Auburn Hills, Rob, where most of the fans were pulling for Bradley as the game wore on and wore on. As you mentioned, a 10-point Braves lead at the half. And the Bradley Braves never had fear in their eyes, and they take out the fourth seed, Kansas, by four points tonight. And just moments ago, we spoke with Peoria Central grad Daniel Ruffin, who was the point guard for this monumental victory for the Braves. We got to pressure them. Uh, you know, make them turn over the ball, you know, get them out their comfort zone. And I think tonight, that's what we did. It wasn't, it wasn't easy for them, man. We just took them out their comfort zone. And as the game went on, you guys got more and more confident like you belonged here, didn't you? Yeah, we did. You know, we, we really didn't have much pressure on it. We was the underdogs. Kansas had a lot going for this. So, you know, they was predicted Final Four team. And, you know, that it was on their mind. And sometimes that messed with you. There was never any fear in your guys' eyes tonight. No, I mean, it, it really wasn't. Just from the simple fact, we all Division One players. I mean, some higher level, some lower level. We all basketball players. You take it on the court. That's why you play the game. Where does this one rank in the list of Daniel Ruffin achievements? Uh, this, this is this tops it all. You know, beating Kansas. I mean, who you can't you don't do this every day. Somerville gets an inbound. Well, yes, indeed. Uh, he mentions that this is uh, ranks right up there. Daniel Ruffin, of course, won a state championship with Peoria Central, but this has to rank right up there in the annals of Bradley basketball history and the better than 100-year history of Bradley basketball. A 13-seeded Braves team takes out a number four Kansas in the NCAA tournament, Rob. This one ranks right up there near the top of the list for sure. And, Kurt, it looked like the impressive thing tonight, too. This didn't seem like a fluke. Like, sometimes you see an underdog hit a last-second shot. This was a game Bradley was in control for much of this game. Absolutely. From start to finish, Kansas led two to nothing, and uh, they had another one-point lead with about four minutes to go in the first half. And then from there on out, Bradley led the rest of the way. And when you think about it, the Big Ten champion in the tournament, the Big 12 tournament champion, the Big East tournament champion, all out in the first round, and the Valley gets its second win and a huge one with Bradley's victory tonight over Kansas. They'll play, by the way, Pittsburgh at 11:10 on Sunday here at Auburn Hills. Live from a very cold Detroit, but a very warm heart of the Bradley locker room, Kurt Pegler, News Channel 31 Sports. Kurt, we appreciate that. Thanks a lot. Well, two other Valley teams in action tonight, including Southern Illinois, a big underdog against West Virginia, but we saw what underdogs are doing elsewhere, so maybe the Salukis could pull this out. Well, maybe not. Mountaineers come out firing. Alex Rohoff drains the three.